Hey, don't tell anybody I said this, but can you imagine what it would be like if every state had a requirement that all people in public offices had to be Christians? Not for the purpose of trying to force everybody into Christianity, but so that every person in public office would execute their office with morality. That judges would judge according to the law and not to politics or social mores. But they would just rule, they would run their offices, they would, they would do things according to the principles of, of Scripture. Can you imagine what it would be like if there was a requirement that you had to confess your faith in Christ and that the Bible was divinely inspired and you use that as your basis for everything that you did? Do you know that's exactly what Ezra was told? Ezra 7.25, he says, And thou, Ezra, after the wisdom of thy God that is in thine hand, set magistrates and judges, which may judge all the people that are beyond the river, all such as know the laws of thy God, and teach ye them that know them not. So Ezra, who is, who is a priest, the direct line of Aaron through Eleazar, he was a contemporary of Nehemiah when they're putting Jerusalem back together. He was instructed to set up judges across the river, to set up judges everywhere that would rule the people morally, rightly, according to God, and that they would, they would do that not only for those that knew the law of God, but also to teach those that did not know the law of God. Notice there was nothing in here that forced anybody to be anything except for the rulers to lead according to God and to explain and teach that law and why it was there. So what would happen if we did that as a nation? I know people have come apart even talking about this. However, let me take us back a little bit in time. Let's say revolution is over. The states now have to write new constitutions. What if in that moment they put those things in place? What do you think would happen? Well, I think crime rate would be very low. I think divorce would be low. I think the nation would be uh, generally a nation of integrity and, and honesty. And, and you know what we see in our founding country. When, when we had, um, what was his name? Um, forgot the French guy's name, that came to America and was trying to figure out the, our greatness, why we were so great. And he said it wasn't until you know, he went into the pulpits and saw them afire with the Word of God that he realized that America is great because America is good. If America ever quits being good, America will quit being great. Tocavelli, I believe, was his name. So when the people tell you, well, our founding fathers were deists, uh, they, they believed in just a higher power, they're more pantheists, that you're God, I'm God, the trees are God, the rocks are God, whatever, then let me, let me take you back to just after the, rev the, the revolution and the states had to write their constitutions. This is from Delaware's constitution after declaring independence from Great Britain. And I quote, every person appointed to public office shall say, I do profess faith in God the Father and in Jesus Christ his only Son and in the Holy Ghost, one God, blessed forevermore. And I do acknowledge the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testament to be given by divine inspiration. Want to know why our nation was so great? Right there it is. Because our founding fathers primarily were Christian. They came here to practice Christianity openly and freely, to share their faith, to encourage others to come to know this same Jesus that set them free, not to force anyone to be anything, but to teach others about Jesus Christ and to rule from the foundations of Scripture. Wouldn't it be nice if our constitutions in our state and the const would go back to that? Wouldn't it be great if all of our states came back to this principle and said, this is what's required to be in office. You don't have to be a Christian to be in our state. You don't have to be a Christian to be a citizen. But if you're going to rule, we're going to rule from Scripture, 
because that is the ultimate book of morality and justice and love. So when somebody says, well, we're not really a Christian nation, go back and read some constitutions. And by the way, this statement in Delaware's constitution is very similar to almost all the other states immediately following the revol revolution when they had to write their constitutions, almost every one of them had some statement about like this about public office. Oh, that we could go back to the day when we stood on Scripture and used it as our basis for judgment. Do you realize that in the early days of our country, there was great discussion in the halls of our Congress at the national level when making laws looking at scripture to make sure it did not violate the word of God. We were great once, and we could be again if we went back to the same principles. I know some people are chawing their teeth and their tongue. What in the world are you saying? I'm just telling you some history. And I'm telling you that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Father God, help us to remember from where we came Help us to remember that you established us, that you gave us a great place to worship you. Help us, Father, as Christians, to stand up, not to force anybody to be anything, but to stand up and demand that our nation return to its roots. Our Constitution acknowledges that you are our Creator. Help us return to that, Father. Help us to go back to the days when we could stand and say, truly, we are a Christian nation founded on your principles. Father, help us to be strong. We're in an election cycle. Help us as children of God to stand up and vote according to your law, to your word, and not our pocketbooks and not some social thing, but that we vote according to those who show morality, who show integrity. Help us again, Father, to return to the days when we demanded that our politicians actually be honest people, men and women of integrity, who stand for something and not just say whatever to get elected. Help us to hold our representatives' feet to the fire. Father, help us return to the day like we started, where our representatives are just that, representatives of us, not rulers over us. Father, we thank you, and we praise you, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Enjoy your morning. See you tomorrow morning about 1030.